Yo, what up? I'm Muma from the Houston Owls, and I'm here to answer your questions from the Twitch Overwatch League All Access Pass. All right. Chaotic Beats asked, who as a main tank do you think is the scariest DPS player in the OWL? I would probably say Sabiolbi, because there's no player that in the league that's like so consistent at, well, I'm going to jump your back line and kill all your sports, and then he's just going to do the same right back at me, and it's just always really frustrating. Kobia Sashai Senpai asked, what is your favorite memory from your time with the Outlaws outside of competing this season? Um, during our Texas tour between the stage break, it was like super like relaxing to spend time with my team outside of like Overwatch League, and it was just super fun. Ginjigi asks, have you got ever got any role model in life? I would say the biggest role model in my life was probably my father. Um, he always made me like a really competitive person, and I'm, I was really into sports when I was younger because of him. And when he passed away, that's kind of when I got into Overwatch, or not Overwatch, but like esports instead of traditional sports. But I always really looked up to him, and he was a help for me a lot. Unicorn Glow asks, is there any other main tank you look up to in the league or outside the league? I'd say the number one main tank I look up to in the league is probably Fissure. It's super impressive that he started on like a... He started as like a bench player for a team, and then when he wanted to like prove himself and start, he joined a somewhat mediocre team, and he kind of turned them into contenders. And I find that like really impressive on the main tank role. Graffiti Tracer TV asks, "How did you get your username?" Uh, not a super fun story. I started on a Xbox before I switched to like PC, and it was like really cool to have four-letter gamer tags on the Xbox. So I kind of assumed it was the same when I switched to Steam, and I just kind of went with four random letters. And when I got through, I was just like, "Oh heck yeah." Nervin Quasar asks, what do you do when you aren't playing Overwatch? Um, I mean, I play a lot of video games other than Overwatch. I'd say my main passion outside of Overwatch is music. I'm, like, really into music. I don't play any instruments anymore, but I'm, like, really adamant and, like, listen to a lot of different bands, and I love, I love live, live music as well. Like, concerts are some of my favorite things. Captain Cosby asks, out of all of your teammates, who do you think you're the closest with? Probably Clockwork, just because I, I've known him for like four years. And even before Overwatch League, I was like on a team with him. And even before Overwatch, I was on a team with him in other titles. And it was just, I've just known him for so long. Vezki asks, asks, if you could cosplay one hero from Overwatch, who would it be and which skin would it be? Um, I feel like I'm going to have to go with Symmetra with the Outlaw skin. Because I always get to play her on stage, but my team will never let me leave spawn as her. So I might as well try to be her in real life, you know? Sol Chirina asks, Hey Muma, I saw on Twitter you just got a dog. It's so cute. What motivated the decision to get a dog in the stage break? Since I moved out here in California, it's actually been the first time that I've lived without a pet, and it was kind of unfortunate because I just love animals so much. And unfortunately, I haven't had the time to like be able to take care of one since the Overwatch League schedule is so rigorous. But my, uh, my boyfriend, he just graduated college, and he moved in with me, and it's actually his dog. So it now lives with me, and it's great. <laughs> Grasse asks, what keeps you motivated to keep going and put it up with the hard practice, especially when it's stressful? Um, I always just tell myself that if you ever get like over complacent or stop practicing super hard, you're not going to be on the top. And for someone who wants to like always compete and always be on the top, it's really easy to stay motivated. And like even if there is a time when I do get to the top, I know that like over just getting over complacent is like one of the the fastest ways to fall. So it's always easy to like really keep my head in the game. Latula Pyrope One asks, if you could go anywhere in the Overwatch universe, where would you go? Uh, Hanamura, easily. Um, cherry blossoms, they're just, they're just so pretty, and I would just love to go see them in like real life. It would be super cool. Apex Predator asks, if you were told to switch to support for the rest of Stage 4, what hero would you choose and why? Well, I would play Brigetti because I, I, I actually tried to convince my team to let me be the Brigetti player just because I feel like having an understanding of like the way Reinhardt works to my level would like really translate well over to that hero. So you could have like Fact play Rein and then me be on Brigetti and you just have two like main tanks who are just have, like, have a really good understanding of the Rein matchup and I think it would be really strong. But... It's not how it worked out. At least I have Gibraltar, you know? Widow Tempest asks, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Ben and Jerry's half-baked. It's that, it's that good stuff. <laughs> Me as a donut, best type of Pringles? I'm not huge into Pringles, but uh, I am probably favorite towards pizza Pringles. They're pretty good. Yeah. Kaiser014 asks, some tips to be a good Reinhardt? 
I think the most important part of Reinhardt is understanding the enemy Reinhardt's cooldowns and knowing when he has them uh, and keeping track of his ults, obviously, as well. Because if you know when they have ults, you, you can kind of like tell when they want to use it just from the way they posture themselves. And if you're aware of things like cooldown or their fire strike cooldown and their charge cooldown, it makes hitting fire sh or earth shatters a lot easier. So you just got to keep track of all that. Rec Rab asks, what is your favorite map to play on and what is your favorite type of map? Um, my favorite type of map is Control, and my favorite Control map is Nepal. Um, and I think that's mostly because there's just so much variance on the different maps. Like, last meta on Nepal, I played all three of the different main tanks all over the d three different stages, and I always thought that was really fun. Mugsy Boy asks, if you had the choice to change Winston to a Koala, would you do it? I'm going to go with no, because I think that Winston is great the way he is, and I don't think you should change for other people. And Winston is just, he's, he's good. He's a good guy. The Fox Trot asks, how did you become friends with Gaguri? Um, that's a good one. I grew up in a household with mostly females, um, pretty much my entire life. And I, like my little sister and, well, both my sisters, they watch the league, and they always ask me why there, like, isn't any girls in the league and stuff. And I was like, I, I wish I could tell you. And so when Gaguri got in the league, I, I like shot her a DM so fast, and I was like, hey, I'm just so happy that you're in the league. It's so amazing. Uh, my little sister's already called me and talked about you, and it just makes me so happy that you're here. And we've just bonded really quickly after that. Night, Night E. Mike asks, what is your favorite audience sign? Um, my, favorite, my favorite audience signs are probably the ones that tell me to play specific heroes, rather it's like Symmetra or Reinhardt because it's really fun to like lock the hero and like make eye contact with them and stick your head out from the monitor and they're like, oh look, he's gonna play my hero, he's listening to my sign. And then right as the doors unlock, you switch back and you go out and just like look back at your monitor and you just know it's just like, ah, drats. It's always just fun to mess with them. And that was it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you uh, go follow me on all my social media. You can find them pretty easily. Peace.